Okay, so hi. This is a tutorial on how to pull your shoes. And all this will do that's different from polishing it, is it'll just make your toe cap really shiny, uh, which is what we want in the cadets. So all I'm going to be using is cotton wool bud and kiwi shoe polish. Now you can use other kinds of shoe polishes, which will probably be a lot cheaper, like cherry blossom, but they're not that expensive. I find kiwi's the best, you get the best shine from it, and it'll last you quite long. So one of these <laughs> lasts you about half a year, uh, unless you're like me and you just love buying loads and loads of shoe polishes, so that's just me. Okay, all I'm going to do is fill the cap with water, Got a little bit of water, cold water. If it's like scalding water, you're probably going to burn all of the polish off your shoe which is not good. Okay, just wet the cotton wool bud. Let's see this. Okay, wet it and then wring it out. So all you want is a nice flat surface. Got a hair on it, that's gross. Uh, like that. Okay, not too wet, just damp. Okay, and we want it like that just so we can get our shoe polish. Okay, tiny bit. So like that much which isn't that much. Right, and all you're doing with this is just going to work it into that toe cap. Okay, so little circles, don't smear it on and then just leave it. Okay, all you're doing is working it in until basically all of the polish has gone off of here onto your shoe. And with when you're bowling, just go as far as the crease for your toe cap. If you've got a male shoe, you've got a definite line where the toe cap ends. Female shoe, you just kind of have to guess, but like I've worn these a lot, so I've got a nice crease there, and that just shows me where the end of my toe cap is. Okay. So all I'm doing is just keep working this in. And don't be surprised, it will go dull straight away when you put the polish on. And that's normal. Oh, I forgot to mention, all I've done is laid newspaper on the floor, and that's just so polish doesn't go everywhere in case you're a bit messy and gets all over your parents' carpet, which would not be cool. So hold your shoe nice and steady, work it round with these little circles, I'd say about an inch in diameter at the most. Okay, so... And you should be able to see where you're doing it, because little circles should appear in the polish. And the more you rub it in, the more that those circles will start disappearing. And once it, you've got a completely flat surface, that's when you know you're done. And then you can put on another layer. Yay! Uh, as with anything, the more you do this, the more polish you get on there, the shinier it's going to be at the end. So, Which is what we want. So if you just keep working at it, you'll get that really shiny result. Okay, kind of tedious. You can do this in front of the TV. Not exactly like mentally challenging so just as long as you keep an eye on it you're not like polishing your arm or something just make sure you keep the cotton wool bud on your shoe then you should be okay and can you see that all the polish is worked in now you don't want much left on your cloth you have a little bit obviously on your cotton wool bud sorry um yeah so that is on the shoe okay there's a bit of wetness that's come across from the cotton wool bud so I'm just going to take a dry cotton wool bird and just pat that off. Because we don't want it wet, you can get watermarks on it. And there we go. That's pretty shiny as you can see. Uh, females. Uh, I always polish uh, around my shoe. Don't use a shoe brush because you're just going to strip everything off. Okay, I bowl around here. Not as often as a toe cap, obviously, because that's the bit you want really shiny. But yeah, if you just, if you bowl all around your shoe, it's going to look a lot better overall. Okay, so you can, I use cotton wool birds, I find they're a lot softer and they manage to work it in more, but you can also use a cloth like this, this is just a dust, a normal dusty, you can buy them anywhere, uh, but just make sure it's a soft cloth, it's not going to be like a towel, because otherwise you might scratch the polish you've already got on your shoe, so make sure it's a really soft one, like you'd use with glass or anything. Okay, also if you have a male shoe, which looks like this. You see the difference? It's my shoe. I'm a woman, by the way. It's a woman's shoe. Male shoes. Can you see there? That's the end of your toe cap. You have that definite crease there where it's been stitched. But you also have this welt around the edge. You see that? As opposed to that one, which doesn't really have any welt. 
Okay, and you can get old dirt and stuff coagulating in there. So what we do is old toothbrush, not the one you're using preferably. You take a little bit of polish, rub it in, okay, and that'll just clean it up. It's not going to go shiny like that. Be careful that you don't scratch off the sides of your newly bald uh, toe cap because that would just not look cool. Okay, so once we've applied that polish with the toothbrush, we can then take our taking off brush, like we do for boots, okay, and just kind of rub around it. Okay, again, try and not scratch the toe cap because that's the bit you want really shiny. Okay, just take off that polish you put on with this and that'll just leave your welts being nice and clean and black, which they should be. Okay, so hope that helped. Okay, sorry about that. Another thing I forgot to mention about when you're doing your shoes is uh, make sure you dry the inside of your cap. If you've used it for water, obviously you could just use a cup or anything, it would save you having to do this. But again, I'm lazy. Okay, so newspaper, I'm just going to put that on there. And then I'm just going to take kitchen roll. So, normal kitchen roll. I'm just going to make sure that's really dry and really clean. So, that'll just stop it from rusting. And obviously if it rusts, you're going to be putting that back on your polish. Okay, and you don't want bits of rust floating around in there because obviously if you put that on your shoe, it's just going to scratch all of that polish off. Okay. So I'm just going to put it like that. It's going to be nice and clean. It's not going to close, but I will. Another thing you can do is, so after you've finished bowling it, if you want to keep it clean between now and whenever you're wearing it, so if you're not going to wear it today, uh, what you can do is just get a normal pair of tights. This is just like an old pair of tights. Okay, and you can just put your shoe inside of that, and it sounds really stupid. So there we go, my shoe is inside a pair of tights. Uh, but all that should do is, when you pull it out, the tights, because they're really like light, soft material, they will just take off any dust or any dirt that's trying to gather there, and they just give it a really nice, smooth finish at the end. Okay, so that way it'll keep it clean between now and whenever you want to wear them. Okay, so hope that helps too. Another thing you can do if you just want to finish it off properly, so you're not sure if all of the polish has been worked in that, is waterball that. So that'll be in my next video. Okay, bye.